Hello everyone and welcome to Brazil. This is the Cody's League, so this is the official Codemasters League. And I am racing for Nebula. I'm in Mercedes, they have Mercedes. So this is my qualifying lap. And I break after the Rolex sign, I don't know if you saw it, but above the car there is a Rolex sign. So anyway, I'm trying to get on the throttle as fast as possible, I use half my curse. And there is a car coming out, out of the pits which is kind of not making me concentrate as good as I could. So I made a little mistake on that corner. But anyway, he moves out of the way. So he's not going to be a problem anymore. So I... This corner isn't the best one. I mean, I could take a little better one, but still I didn't fall be below one, uh, 240 km per hour. So that's not too bad. So it's still... Pretty nice, but on this corner I could break later and take a little better line. I touched the curb on the right, this means that I've broken too early and turned in too early. So, yeah, I've gained two tens now, so that's um, 690 for now. So, let's see how my last sector is. I went on the curb on the right too much, so that's going to be, to be losing me a little time. So, it's a 18.7. So, not the best lap in the world, still a decent lap, but definitely not the best lap in the world. So, at the end of the qualifying session, Alex was first, Tonic second, Kifwa, me, Krama, Andre, and so on. Anyway, uh, I wanted to say that Alex and Tonic, they had a little teammate thing. Tonic was waiting for Alex on the straight, and Alex got a very good slipstream, and he gained around 3 tenths on the final sector. My recording so software doesn't work. Basically, Onich pulled Alex ahead because Alex was slower. But I think Alex would be around my pace anyway. So, anyway, um, the lights are off. And I switched to the picture. Trying to get a better start, but I don't seem to be because he for here is having a better start than Drama behind is having a better start. So. They actually break out earlier for turn 1 and I actually gain the position to Kifua and Alex and Tony are alongside in front of me so I'm slipstreaming them I use all of my curse and I'm alongside Tony now and Alex pushes me to the left so he can get alongside as well so I break quite early but I'm on the inside and I'm first now but I actually get pushed from Andre so Andre actually get, gains a position to me and pushed Tony wide so that wasn't the best move in the world but Anyway, it's not too bad for me, I'm second now, but um, I'm trying to overtake Andre now, and I lose a position to Alex. I mean, I still have lost it, but on the inside, if you go on, uh, alongside someone and you're on the outside there, you're basically going to lose the position, but I'm on the inside here, so I, I still haven't lost the position, but Alex is still alongside me, and he's very aggressive at the looks of it, and uh, he's on the inside of this corner, and yeah, he's just going to get ahead now. And I actually go a little off the track here, that was a stupid mistake. But yeah, I actually lose both McLaren's. Opposition to both McLaren's, I'm sorry for the... I actually think the microphone now. But anyway, I lost two positions now, and I actually break very late for turn one, and I actually pushed on it wide. So I didn't mean to do that, of course, but I wasn't expecting Konich to break so early and to slow down this much for turn one. And yeah, I pushed a little, and this is going to happen a few times into the first thing. Um, I was just thinking that, well, this is zone, which I can break as late as I can and still not hit him. I shouldn't be cautious, but for some reason he was breaking earlier. So anyway, I break a lot later into this corner, and I'm trying to overtake him. So I go on alongside him, but if you remember what I said the last half, if you are on the outside here, you just have absolutely no chance. So I go alongside him into this corner on his inside, but he had a better exit out of the corner, so he's still ahead. And I am one turn behind him, but um, Alex is getting ahead quite a lot, so we're losing time in our battle to Alex, but at the same time, I'm faster than Olich. At least I feel faster than Olich now. So I just want to get out of, get him out of the way and get on with Alex. So anyway, um, uh, I, I'm actually not sure, I want to say, I'm not sure if Alex and Tony have a wet setup. I don't remember if I said, but 
there is a 56% chance for rain in the race, so there is definitely going to be rain in the race. And actually, go a little white here. Um, but anyway, there is a go there's going to be rain, rain in the race, so I'm with full dry setup. I don't have a wet setup. I didn't have wet practice, and my setup is for quite an unbalanced car, so I'm going to be definitely very slow in the rain. So it's very important for me to get them out of the way now that they're slower, because if I don't, I'm going, I'm going to have absolutely no chance in the rain. I just know that in the rain I'm going to be slow. So I'm purple now. So that's good, but I also wanted to say I'm picking on lap 6, so um, this is a, a very early pit stop. These stars, they, if you push them hard enough, they can go up to lap 10, maybe even 11, but I'm going to try to undercut them, and if I pick, Kifu is picking on lap 7, so I, I'm picking on lap 6, Kifu is picking on lap 7. Uh, now Kifo when he picks on lap 7, he's going to be on newer tires and he's going to be 1 to 2 tenths a lap faster than me. So that's that's just how this game works and um, both of us overtook Andre and I am still stuck behind him so let's I'll finish that later. But now um, I'm trying to um, overtake Andre but I break earlier for this corner just in case so he actually went white and pushes all age but I'm still on the outside of this corner and uh, well, like I said, it's very hard to overtake someone on the outside, but he lost momentum because of the crash, so uh, I, I could actually manage to pass him, but um, yeah, it could work out a little better, but anyway, I lost one second this weapon, <laughs> but anyway, um, I was saying that Gifu is going to be one to, ten one to two tenths faster than me, um, and Alex and Tonage, they can pit with us, they can pit on what, 5, 6, 7, or they can pick WAPs 8, 9, 10. So it's going to be very important what they choose because um, if I manage to undercut them, I pick on WAP 6, let's say they pick WAP 9. This means that if my undercut is successful, I don't get stuck in traffic and anything, I'm going to be um, around 5 seconds in front of them. Easily. Maybe even more. And they're going to be behind Kifu as well, so they're going to have to overtake Kifu and then get on with me when they're faster. But they pick uh, with us, and I'm going to on this inside. But anyway, if they pick with us, um, they're going to be on our pace. They're not going to get the undercuts, and we're, go we're just going to have a battle like this now. Um, but if they pick on up nine, and I get stuck in traffic. Um, I'm going to be, well, I I don't think I won't be able to manage the undercut, no matter what. I mean, the new tiles are new tiles. So I'm going to be ahead of them, but I'm going to be ahead of them, them by, by one second. So they can easily catch up and they can easily overtake. If they manage to overtake, there's no chance that I'm going to uh, recut them. So this strategy is very important now. So let's see, nobody pitted on lap, on lap 5. I'm picking now on WAP 6, let's see if someone comes in with me, you'll see someone comes in on WAP 7. Uh, so yeah, this is, these are a few very important WAPs, and we'll see how the strategy works out, because if it works out in our favor, it's going to be a lot easier to fight for the win, but it's, it, if it doesn't, it's just going to be very hard. So, yeah, anyway, um, if you... You can see I'm using clean mixture now, I'm not trying to overtake uh, all nature, I'm just sticking up with him. Um, this is because I don't want to lose any time to Alex. Now I'm fighting for the win, I'm not fighting for second place, so um, I just don't want to lose too much time to Alex. So if if I go on side with Tony, we're just going to get out of Alex's DRS and Alex is going to get more hits, and my undercut is going to be less successful. So yeah, I'm basically basically trying to uh, play it smart. But anyway, we skip to up nine, and Alex and Tony they did pit very late. Alex is pitting now on up eight, and next up should Tony come. Alex is in. So um, let's see where is Alex. Can't tell what tire the so Alex is just behind. And that's very bad for 
my strategy and I go a little white here, <laughs> which is making it even worse, but um, yeah, I was stuck in traffic, I, I hadn't, I didn't have any overtakes, I think, but um, the problem is that uh, I was stuck in traffic like, like I am now, so I'm losing a lot of time in people with uh, worn tires in their slipstream without being able to attack or overtake them, so you can see one eleven point five is my fastest lap now, which is a very slow lap. I should be in the tens easily now, but I'm. This is the third lap of my stint, and I'm still not in the tens. And now my tires are pretty worn, so I shouldn't be even able to get in the tens now anymore. But you can see Alex gaining a lot on me now, so he's even having a look on the inside. But I break a lot later and I actually go a little wide, but. Um, yeah, that was just a defensive move, I didn't know if he's going to attack me or not, so I had to leave some space on the inside anyway. But anyway, I drained all of my curves, uh, but I couldn't go alongside them, but actually Nightfire goes white. So I'm trying to go on um, Mini Blacks' inside for the next corner, but he doesn't let me, and now all Alex is uh, alongside me, but I'm on the inside of this corner, so he backs out of the move, so I dive bomb into mini black and actually push him a little so I, I'm letting him now have a, a little breathing space and I let Alex pass which was a very stupid mistake that was the stupidest way to lose a position but now I let Onish pass as well because I was trying to overtake Alex so basically I was two positions trying to overtake the person in front so that was very very stupid and that was a key moment for the McLaren's they just got out of the pits and now they're free so, um, they are on brand new tasks, they still have the grip, they are going to easily now make it out of the DRS range, so it, my strategy is working out terribly um, for now. So you can see WAP12, they are now out of the DRS zone, you can see 1.3 seconds, easily out of the DRS zone, uh, they can be around half a second to WAP faster now. Because of the new attacks, oh, and for which makes the fast swap of the race, which is 110.6. Oh, and you can see I actually managed to calculate it correctly, exactly half a second faster. But I walked, so Kifo is now alongside me, and I'm at this point I'm letting him what pass. Just um, I walked, I don't know if I'm going to walk again, so I'm basically slower than the McLarens. I had the chance, so I'm letting him pass. Let's see what he can do about them. And I actually told him on team speak. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to attack you, I'm not going to pressure you, so I'm leaving him have around a second at least um, a gap to him, so he can concentrate on them and not worry about me. So, up 22, um, I lost terrible amounts of time uh, in the last couple of laps, my tires were just absolutely dead, okay. I think I did around 18 laps on these tires. So, um, yeah, my tires were dead, so I lost around 4 seconds to them in those few laps. So, I switched to intermediates, nothing really happened, I couldn't catch up, you can see Alex is just in front, I, I was catching up, I made a better choice for the intermediates and stuff, but you can see I'm now having to wait for my pit crew, and Alex is my rival now, I should be fighting with Alex, but he just got away easily and yeah I lost a lot of seconds I had to wait for my pit crew and my pit crew changed my tires for 5.4 seconds so Alex should be around 7 to 8 seconds in front of me now and you can see he's now into turn 2 3 actually uh, so yeah so he's just 5.6.7 uh, seconds in front actually so that's not too bad, but I have just 7 laps, so I have to be uh, catching him up with 7 seconds, uh, with 1 second a lap, so I can catch him for 7 laps. And I have to overtake him, so it's basically over, we skip to the last lap of the race. And I want to say that um, on the wet I had terrible, terrible grip. You can see now, just watch my throttle movements, watch my wheel movements, my brakes. Watch it all and look how the car handles and you'll see that I have absolutely no grip and I was losing my rear end all of the time. You will see, especially in the slow uh, corners in sector 2, I was just losing it all the time and I made a mistake here. I mean, this wasn't due to lack of grip, I, I just made a mistake. 
but in the second sector you will see now I'm breaking for the next corner I am going to lose the rear end a little you can see now I this this is where my rear end is sliding so my front is turning but my rear end is sliding so I I lost my line because of the rear end so this is why the car understeered is because the rear end didn't have any much grip any more grip and you can see on this corner I had to take a few bites my car was just sliding and here you can see I correct an oversteer oh, even fuck. with such high speeds so yeah uh, this is uh, my wet stint it was just horrifying this wall but we, we lost the base point. strategy we lost it thanks to wet weather and yeah we actually lost the championship by one point to Apex on my racing so it's still not too bad. I want to say that um, Apex Online Racing they cared about the championship um, a lot more than us, simply because they had just two drivers play. They had Alex and Tony. They're like they're two fastest drivers, so they had them race on every race. And Nebula they had ev different drivers every race. Kifo raced a few times, yes, but they switched drivers. So. Um, it was more of a Nebula had more of a which league is better and Apex Online Racing just had a very the very best team maybe that's what I think uh, but anyway uh, fact is we lost by one point so Apex Online Racing won so yeah this is it and yeah so this is it thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.